Hi, this is Rochelle with Live in Vibrancy and I have a couple of minutes before I jump on a call. So I want to take this as an opportunity to um, offer a quick tool to not only demonstrate the power of your emotions um, and how it works in conjunction with your mindset to either block your mindset or boost your mindset, um, but you could also use this going forward to kind of help you um, when you have those fear and doubt moments. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an example. Um, so let's say I have a client and they are predominantly trying to reconcile a relationship. So uh, let's say this client is wanting to reconnect um, with her partner. And so things are going along really well, but something's come up today. So maybe her partner has started calling her and, you know, started spending that extra time with her, but today something's different. And so now her mind goes back to that fear space, right? Because she's still probably got lingering um, emotional triggers to that, that a really negative experience of their, of their separation. So she's kind of coming to me and says, uh, like, I, I feel like, what do I need to do? What, what else can, what more do I need to make happen? And the thing about it uh, creating is, um, I mean, law of assumption is the entire premise for this. You step into it and then you assume it's yours. So when you kind of shift out of this place emotionally, you've now stepped out of this assumption that it's yours. So my theoretical client has stepped out of this assumption that it's hers and feels like there's something more she needs to do. Because sometimes we look at manifesting like baking a cake, but it's not. It's not just like do these steps, throw a bunch of things in a bowl and it's yours. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really a feeling process. It's a becoming process. It's becoming someone. So in order for her to become that person, she has done all the work, but now today she's kind of stepped out of being the person that it's already happening for. So I would say to her, it's already happening. And so now if you say to yourself, if you're in a situation where you're wanting to reconcile your relationship and that the doubt and the fear thoughts are coming and the emotions, then you want to say to yourself, it's already happening. Now, probably what's happening is nothing <laughs> because without emotion, uh, thoughts are really kind of just like words we say. They're noises that we make. Um, and so we transfer, we translate meaning, but to ourselves, it, the words that we say, there needs to be an emotional component. So then I would, so then I tell her, okay, now I want you to really emotionally invest. Like, what does that feel like? If you know that what you're seeing right now doesn't really mean anything, that what you're, what you're experiencing right now has no bearing on the future, that it's actually already happening. And you don't really need to do anything because it's already happening. And I want you to take that second and just really emotionally invest with that. Like, what would that feel like if it was already happening? You couldn't see it because things are happening behind the scenes. You know, maybe he's off, I don't know, buying flowers or we don't know what he's doing. But my point is that we're always inserting these like, fearful thoughts, these fearful conclusions. And so perhaps he's off, you know, planning something, but it's already happening. So with the story itself, whatever that story is for you, go ahead and, and use that, but you want to emotionally invest and align yourself with it's already happening. And notice what your body does when you do. There's sort of a relaxing that happens as opposed to when there's the fear and the doubt and what do I need to do and like how many more affirmations do I need to be adding into my day? There's kind of a bunching and a constricting. And so th this, um, this like relaxing allows you to really just sort of not only release the fear and doubt, but it creates sort of a protection mechanism because once you're emotionally aligned with, it's already happening. If a fear pops up like, he doesn't really love you or she doesn't really love you. When you are emotionally aligned with it's already happening and that's your emotional truth, your mind kind of just goes, whatever. Because your brain believes your body, not necessarily the words you say in your head. And so hopefully you can use this tool moving forward when that like fear, that pain, pang of anxiety pops up and you can just tell yourself, especially if you have already 
stepped into assuming like at some point emotionally aligned yourself. So move back into that. What would it feel like if it was really happening for me? And then really just settle into that as if that were true, because that's going to really protect you from all of these thoughts that are trying to knock you off guard. And so that is why your emotions are a real key to making things move when you want to create. And also from that really emotional place, imagine if she sees her partner from that like tied up, oh no, you know, oh, I might have been fooling myself this whole time. When she sees her partner, that emotional, uh, like her vibrations or her nervous system response, her partner's going to feel that. And so what do you think that that's going to do for their reconnection efforts? Nothing good. <laughs> so, um, finding yourself and I'm going to, I'm going to make a little video on creating an anchor because when I was going through, um, the manifestation process, it definitely had its ups and downs and having an anchor statement that I was really emotionally connected to, um, not only helped move me out of that fear, but it allowed me to step into going from fear into right into unconditional love where, and in unconditional love, you really have no judgment. And so you can really begin to reconnect to your partner. And so hopefully this is a useful tool you can use. And, uh, I will, as I said, make, make a video on anchoring and anchoring statements so that you can actually begin to anchor the affirmations or, you know, your, the things that you're using to kind of move you out of fear states, but anchor them in at the emotional level so that they're actually doing the work that they should be. And if you want more cool tips or you want to take part in my Thursday lives, please join my Facebook group. The details are in the comments.